<laughs> all that happened on that play in that moment to, to make one of probably the best moments in Ottawa history. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! That's like a play in, in you know, like red black history that, uh, that they're going to talk about forever. A miracle! <laughs> Definitely the most memorable play of my career to date. I guess the only way it could have been better is if it was in the Grey Cup. I felt like it was a just a good old fashioned heavyweight fight. Jeremiah Mazzoli, underdog before this game, certainly. He's got a chance to tie this ball game. I actually had a, a perfect view, and I remember thinking, seeing the ball in the air, thinking there's no way he's going to get to that. Got a shot here. What a catch! Oh my! Luke Tasker touchdown! I had no idea how he made that catch. It's one of the best catches I think I've seen in a long time. And, um, and then they're back in the game, just like that. When he caught that, all I could think was, wow, we just got to play defense now, and I couldn't have been more happy. So Henry Burris, chance to lead his team to Winnipeg right here, right now. The first play was just a, you know, a quick, quick slant by the inside. It's a play that we put in that you can get a, a quick little chunk and put you in good position for the second down. We ran max coverage, so we showed blitz and went max coverage, and <laughs> Hank, Hank, <laughs> Hank tried to give us one. But he has to get some first downs. He has to get his team in field goal range. That doesn't help, but it was dropped. When that ball was like bobbling in his hands, I was just, my heart dropped for a second. In slow-mo, I saw it happening. <laughs> and, uh, and thankfully, uh, he dropped it. But uh, yeah, for sure, I thought, uh, I thought we were done on that play. You look back after and say, wow, that would have done it for us. But after that interception was dropped, you still are thinking, that's all right, they're going to they're gonna punt this and we're gonna kick a field goal to win, easy. All the momentum is in our hands now. You know, we just came down to score a touchdown, third down, second and 25. All we gotta do is get off the field now. We got the, the best kicker in the league and he's gonna give us the opportunity to win this game. So we're gonna win this game right here, right now. But his team needs a huge play right here to get out of a hole. Given the, how long we had to go for first down, we were backed up. Almost a desperation play, I guess, is what he called. If they don't. Hamilton's going to get good field position. High snap. I could see Hank jump up, and, uh, and I think right away I'm, I was thinking, oh, no, safety. Nothing ever good happens after a play like that. You're thinking most he's going to do is throw this ball away or get sacked. That's all there's going to be left. I saw Hank fumble it, and so at that point I was like, okay, we got a chance, and I'm, I'm battling through a double team, and I just see him uh, wind up, and I reach out and, and try to reach for the ball come up short and it was just in there. He lets out this huge, huge rainbow. I mean, it was, a, I don't know how far he threw that in the air, but it was deep. And still you're thinking, this is gonna be a 50-50 ball here. By the time I kinda, you know, glanced back out of the corner of my eye, I could kinda see Hank cocking back and throwing it, you know, threw it up to the outside and uh, that was all she wrote. Oh, it's caught, what a catch! Down the sideline goes Ellingson, he's gonna score, touchdown! like slow motion. I'm watching the ball go up in the air and all I hear is And then, yeah, heart drops in my stomach. You could feel the stadium just erupting, you know, vibrations from the whole crowd. I could see the you know, cheerleaders out of the corner of my eye jumping up and down. I could see the stands and, you know, look back and see him chasing me. I'm just thinking, get to the end zone. And I just look back and, you know, I you know, know that's going to put us in the Grey Cup and just see my teammates running towards me and, you know, they all tackle me into the sign and fall on the ground. I think when I really thought about it was when I was uh, jogging back to the sideline. I think there's like a picture of me just, you know, kind of looking up at the sky and like taking a deep breath and letting it out. And it's just kind of, you know, you could you feel everything, the excitement, you know, kind of the, the letdowns in the past of like when I was in Hamilton. And, really not getting that shot to shine. Um, kind of all that exhaustion just off my shoulders and uh, realize that, you know, helping that team win and, and go, to, go to the great cup. <laughs> I have heard the radio call, yeah, yeah. That's, it gives me goosebumps listening to it. Burris has it, Burris looks downfield, throws, and it is caught! Inside Hamilton territory, and there he goes! It's Ellingson, down the sideline, inside the 10! Touchdown, Ottawa! Greg Ellingson, a miracle! I mean, right away you knew it was a special play. I think uh, probably not until after 
the season ended and everything calmed down um, and you, you really look back and just look at the impact of the play and, um, and even to this day it still gives me goosebumps to watch and, and to hear the crowd and um, just the, the fact that uh, you know Hank almost missed the, the snap and the play before and just put it all together. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's one of the, the best plays I've been a part of. I guess it sunk in. I mean, yeah, I, I realized it's a big play. It's, you know, it's special. It's going to stick around for a long time. But, I mean, as far as like going into this, this season and stuff coming up, they say if what you're, you're looking back on something you did great in the past, then, you know, what are you going to do for the future? So, for me, I'm thinking about the next thing. What other play can I make like that? What other play can I help uh, bring a great cup to Ottawa?